All right, so in this problem, I have x minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to negative 8. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by adding 8 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 8 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can rewrite 8 as... 2 to the power of 3. So I have x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 is 0. And the reason I did that was because if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to x minus 2, and b is equal to 2. So I get x minus 2 plus 2 times x minus 2 squared minus 2 times x minus 2 plus 2 squared. And this is equal to 0. Now we can simplify this. So negative 2 and positive 2 cancel out. So I get x times x minus 2 squared is the same thing as x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then negative 2 times x minus 2, I can distribute the negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And finally, I have this plus 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Now from here... We can simplify what's in the parentheses. So I get x times x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 2x plus 4 plus 4. So this simplifies to x squared. Negative 4x minus 2x is negative 6x. And now I'm left with plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is plus 12. This is equal to 0. Now from here, this gives me two equations. I get x is equal to 0, and I get x squared minus 6x plus 12 is equal to 0. So x equals 0, this is already a solution. And x squared minus 6x plus 12 is equal to 0. To solve this, we're going to have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 6, and c is 12. So if I plug these values into my quadratic formula, I get negative 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So 6 squared, which is 36, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 12, all over 2a. So 2 times 1. And this is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 48 over 2 times 1, which is 2. And this is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 48, which is negative 12 over 2. Now from here, get negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 12 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is the same thing as the imagined number i. So, I get x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 12i over 2. Now, the square root of 12, this is the same thing as the square root of 4 times 3, right? Which is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. The square root of 4 is 2. This is equal to 2 root 3. So, I get x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus 2 root 3 i over 2. Now if I divide my terms here by 2, I get x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus, these two cancel out, square root of 3 i. So my three solutions are x is equal to negative 3 plus square root of 3 i, x is equal to negative 3 minus square root of 3 i, and x is equal to 0.